Okay, here we're being asked to convert from moles to grams. And uh, let's use a strategy so we can make sure we're doing the right thing. Um, what I want to do is identify what's given in the problem and then identify what I'm trying to find. So I'm given moles of water and I want to convert that to grams. So this is the given. And this is really what I want to end up with. So after I've identified what I'm given and what I want to find, I need to set the problem up so I can cancel those units out. So let's, let's try that. So we start out with what we're given, which is 3.5 moles of H2O. And I want to find grams. So the way I need to set this up is multiply it by a conversion factor where I can cancel out moles of water and I'll end up with grams on top. So that'll give me an answer of grams. Um, grams per mole is just the GFM. And since we're dealing with water, let's find the GFM of water. Well, I've got to get my periodic table out here. Let's look up hydrogen. Hydrogen's 1.00794. Let's say 1.01. And there's two of them. So I need to multiply it by two plus the oxygen there. And oxygen over here is 15.9994, let's say 16.00. So let's add those up. 1.01 times two equals that plus 16.00, end up with 18.02 grams per mole. So my 18.02 grams in one mole. And uh, at this point, I've got everything set up. So now what I need to do is actually solve the problem, do the math. The way I like to think about it is I'm multiplying this times this, but you can just draw a line and do it like that. So it's 3.5 and the moles are on top and on the bottom. They cancel out. And what's nice about that is it leaves us with grams, which is what we want. So it's 3.5 times 18.02 divided by one. So really just 3.5 times 18.02, that gives me 63.07 grams. Put a box around, it looks nice. Last thing we need to do is see if our answer actually makes sense. Um, and we know one mole of water is 18 grams. So one mole is about 20 grams. We have about four moles. Four times 20 is 80. Yeah, it's pretty close to what we're looking for. So this answer is reasonable. We start with moles, we've wanted grams, and there are the grams.